<laughs> Nobody knows cast iron better than C-Dub, and here he is. For some folks, baking bread in a Dutch oven really seems to be a challenge. And just like our home oven has a top element and a bottom element, we're going to use charcoal top and bottom to bake bread. We're going to use frozen rolls. And basically what I do is I take and I dip that in, I've got a little bit of melted butter here in my little cobbler pan. And then I take and I roll each roll and seasoned breadcrumbs. And then I set it in the Dutch oven, it thaws out and begins to raise. We're used to seeing when we bake yeast rolls, they all grow together and you have to tear them apart. These are going to serve individually. They will lift right out because of the breadcrumbs and the oil. Uh, this is uh, ones we've had in our Dutch oven raising. You can see the difference in the size of the frozen rolls. Now these are going to continue to rise, but we're using a 12 inch Dutch oven, so we want a circle of briquettes, approximately the diameter of our oven. About like that, with the three in the middle. The, the main job for these briquettes on the bottom is to brown the bottom of our rolls, and that's our bottom heat, our bottom element. Okay, to finish baking these, we're going to go around the top of our Dutch oven. Okay, so we're all the way around that outside edge with about three in the middle. People say, well, how do you know when it's done? Simple, if it smells done, it's done. If it smells burnt, it's burnt. We're going to let these rolls go about 20 minutes. We will not look. When we take the lid off our Dutch oven, those rolls will be perfectly baked. They will serve individually, and the bottoms will be what I call county fair brown. Guess what, we're smelling the done smell. I know these rolls are done, so let's take a look at them. And now here's the interesting thing. Each one of those rolls will pop out and look at the bottom. And we have some homemade preserves that we call Puvidla. This is an old Czech recipe, and it's equal parts of peaches, plums, pears, uh, cooked down and made into a preserve. And I'm going to have some of these on one of these hot rolls. Scott, I'll send you a jar of the Puvidla.